yeah, check us. So, uh, Voice Meter Banana, just for like properly start the show, Voice Meter Banana got an update. Well, it's not got an update, but it's got a new beta. Voice Meter um, Potato. And oh man, this is this is just all sorts of beautiful. All sorts of just like stunning. It, it really it makes me all warm and fuzzy. Look at this. Look at this. Right, okay, it's too big for my screen, but you know. Look at this. It is just absolutely schwandiddly dink delicious. I don't know. Let's just put the tiny wee touch more. Na, 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 na. Let's do that. Make it look a wee bit professional. Um, we'll do it a big bit professional. Not at all professional, right? Okay. So, oh my god, right, stop, stop. Oh no. Oh my god, I needed to have uh, really let go of that a lot earlier, so hi. <laughs> Can we just bring it down, 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 bring it on down. Look at this, look at this, right? Okay, I will move my sorry ass out of the way. Oh, I've totally overpressed that again. Stop. Stop. Banging. Right, so. Look at this. Look at this new fancy. Man, this is absolutely beautiful. So, um, just before we like do everything proper, you know, proper, as proper as this ever gets, I just wanted to quickly run through Voice Meter Banana. Um, sorry, Voice Meter Potato. It's going to take me so long to get used to that. But Voice Meter Potato, um, instead of just having three, three physical inputs, we've now got Five physical input. Two, 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 two. Five, five. Count them. One, two, three, four, five, five. If you're in five, five. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> but seriously, guys, this is this is phenomenal. Because what it means, what it means is, you know, when you bought your um, when you bought your your virtual audio cables and you paid more for the uh, for the extra two virtual audio cables, you can now use pretty much all of these to separate as many audio devices as you want. Not only do we have these here, do I have cursor? No, I don't have cursor. Why, why would I want the cursor? I do have the cursor. Why, where is my cursor? Is this not active? There we go. Okay, so we've got like one. This is still my mic, so when I speak, you can see blah, 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 up and down. We've got some features that aren't actually active yet. Just now that that will come, um, but they're not active just yet. But it's exciting. Anyway, so we've, I've still got my mic here. So we've got a special effects, we've got a reverb and a delay. And like, okay, I, I wouldn't use these necessarily too much. But see, just having a teeny wee bit, sometimes it's nice to have just a wee bit control of your re reverb. My um, my mixer that I use to, to put all my audio into my PC um, from, like, my mouth. You know what I mean. Anyway, that, uh, that has built-in special effects. But they all sound ass, like they, they really sound like I'm in a cave every single time, doesn't matter what I do with them. So um, so yeah, it'll be nice to see what the software does on that front. And so we've got some reverb, we've got some delay here as well. There'll be some effects like, you know, there will be some times that you'll want to um, put a wee bit of delay or reverb in your voice. Like, I don't know, if you set up a scene on your stream when you are in the cave, for instance, you know, if you were wanting to, to set that scene up, bang, you can just set up a macro. Um, that you can use on your Steam Deck, or you can use just by hitting the keys on the uh, on the keyboard, and you can uh, you can automatically set these to predetermined points. So then you could be, you know, oh, I'm entering the game. Oh, like I'm really in the depths. Of the game. You know, when you watch um, you you watch Doctor Disrespect, and he does his wee scenes. His, his voice doesn't really change that often, but like I kind of always had this feeling, like see if you um, if you change your audio, so it went like really bassy and really. <laughs> when you would um when you like pictured yourself outside of a club or something you know you had your music like that we totally feel like you were outside the club you know so anyway i digress um yeah we've also got the, the external um effects so we've got a send one and a send two now this all ties in with up here i believe this a bit that unfortunately doesn't work so i can't test any of this wait can i actually is this giving me any is this is this is this is this is this no okay is it is it is it? No, 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 no. Nah, 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 nah. It's okay, so I'm not doing anything at this point. Um, 
But yeah, so this will this will all tie in here. So I, I don't know how it's all going to work. I don't like at this point. It's just in beta. These these features aren't available just now. Um, as soon as they are available, I'll make a video for YouTube, and then um, we'll we'll be up and uh, up and running. So obviously we've got the reverb up here. Maybe maybe is this something to do with the reverb? Well, we have no 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 no. Nah. Okay. So it's not um it's not affecting anything here at this point. But you know, you never know. It's, uh, basically, as soon as that happens, I'll figure out what the hell's going on, and, uh, and we'll put up a YouTube, a YouTube video, and, uh, and we will explain everything. The most important thing here is just that we have the five, the five, 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 oh, beautiful five physical inputs. I expect um, the guys at, at VB Audio will look to to have like another virtual cable you can do, so like virtual. Um, just now you've got your your cable output, which is the one that you kind of get with it in the program. Then you've got cable A, cable B that you can buy extra, and then I expect we'll have a cable C. Um, I would, would be very surprised if that didn't come in at some point. Um, but yeah, so basically we've got Discord, we've got Spotify. Like just now I have the Xbox, um, and I've got well I actually to double up um, the Xbox and uh, Discord chat all in one thing, but I could split them off into two two separate inputs um but it just means that you can have a dedicated you can have a dedicated games channel if you set all your games to output on um cable b it means every game that plays will play on this so it's just brilliant you know it just means that like if you know that generally speaking if you have your games 100 percent volume that you need to knock everything down instead of knocking everything down in every individual game you can maybe just knock them down here 70 percent, whatever you know it is or if you really if you want to ramp up your game, but not your desktop sound, so like say my soundboard is pretty damn loud, I don't want my soundboard to be like, get your hands off when I'm in the middle of like PUBG, when I'm trying to listen to PUBG. So it means I can maybe just have like the, the PUBG raising up in volume here to like 100% and then have my soundboard at a lower volume rather than having my game volume, my PC game volume and my desktop on the same, the same volume slider. Um, I can also change things. So if I say, well, I've got Spotify here on uh, on my input three. Um, so I could just now it's sent in to me. I'm A1, that's my headphones, and B1 is the, the stream. Um, but if I only want the music to go to you guys rather than like to me, so again, during tense moments and PUBG or anything like that, I could set up a macro, a game with the, the stream deck. Um, Sorry, yeah, the Stream Deck, Steam, yeah, Stream Deck. <laughs> um, so I could set up a macro to remove me from the the music feed, so I wouldn't hear it. It would just be you guys that heard it, and I could also just raise the volume of the game up. So it, you know, it, there's different things that you can do um, with the macros that we set up in those YouTube videos. Um, obviously, anything we want to run through that, I'm quite happy to to do that again if anyone needs a, a hand. Um, the other the other swanky thing that's here, and this is this is brilliant because it ties in with the. Um, the Windows 10 update, the Spring update that came along that allowed us better audio separation and, uh, and sound separation. Here we've got three virtual, um, three virtual inputs. So just now, if I, I'm not going to be able to show you. I could, but I can't be bothered setting up. So you know. Blah, blah. Anyway, if I go into my sound settings, um, you have a list of all the things you can use for, um, like all your applications, you can send them to a specific um, set of speakers. So it sees it sees these, the, the voice meter VIO, the voice meter aux, and it will say VIO3, and it sees them as individual outputs that can output the, the different applications to. So again, like things like the soundboard, if I, if I don't want my soundboard to be absolutely rattling through a ton of like really loud stuff, or you know, like I like my soundboard to be a bit loud, a bit of a shock, but if it's getting abused, instead of switching the soundboard off, which, you know, I don't like to switch it off, if I can avoid it, if I could just bang a button and it automatically reduces this volume down, I don't need to worry about it, you know. Again, if you want to do, like, some crazy, crazy effects, you know, you could have this looping. You can set delays. I don't know if you can set delays for all actions. Um, you can certainly fade to... And I'll, I'll speak to the guys who might be able to, to do different things, but you can fade to a point, so, like, I could set this to fade to minus 40 decibels over a 10 second period so it would just you know when I activate that macro it would just go and just gradually take it down to, to the minus 40 so I don't know if it's possible to like say pan this to the left over a 10 second period and then pan it back over to the right you know so if like you were doing some space scene or something you know where you were like 
I don't know if you were recreating the old Batman from the, the 70s, you know, and you know, they've got that do loo 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 loo, na 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 na, you know, I don't know. Anyway, there's, there's, the, it just, the, the freedom that this gives you, it, it just, it, it's like another 50% of what you had. You can't beat it more than 50%. Hey, but on the output front, we've now increased the hardware outputs to, uh, to five. For you fifers, five. <laughs> five hardware outputs so again like if you've got um like five physical devices you can send this to so i've got my headphones set up here and here i might be able to send like i might want to send something specifically to my television or to my monitor if i don't want to play with my headphones so i can set that up and only you know i only have to activate that when i want to activate it i don't need to have it active all the time here i can set up to go and um, i may have my pc set up to um, like a surround sound system because some people use their PCs as like entertainment systems as well as um, just for broadcasting and playing games and things you know so there might be like that media front so you might have um, like your fibre output or anything you know so again you can just set all these things through here it, it's just it's phenomenal so you were limited to three I never ever had that issue because I don't use external speakers I don't send the audio from anywhere to um, anywhere else on my PC but I mean for future PCs you know if I'm if I'm using my PC for other applications, you know, if I'm not just using it for streaming, then it's this just broadens the uh, the scope of what I can actually use it for. Um, I wonder. I'm not sure what this is for. Maybe this is something to do with the, the reverb. Hmm. Let's see. Let's see. Is there anything? No. Is it? Nah, nah, nah. There's nothing there. Okay. I, I'm going with the fact that this isn't actually active at the, at the moment. But, um. Oh, wait, 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 return, oh, okay, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, maybe it is active, wait, um, let me turn that up, oh yeah, oh yeah, it is active, hell yeah, right, okay, so I'll let you guys hear that as well, um, just so you can hear what I'm hearing, there we go, so this, this is active, but it's just feeding it back, it's not active, so if I turn this off, that's it, it's off, so there must be like a, um, there must be another, um, feature here that we can we can sort out the delays and not working but the reverb works so that's that's something we're in a cave what does that tell you we're in a cave so anyway anyway that's that and um, i'll take that off just now let's see the delay is that no 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 okay 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 so we don't want to push it and um, take the take that off just now i wonder if i put the there yeah, okay cool anyway um Another cool thing that I saw today that I wasn't really thinking about, but I should have been thinking about a long time ago. Um, you know, with Spotify, you have your volume normalization function. So instead of having some songs that are quiet and some bits that are loud in the songs, you know, yes, for classical music, you want to be able to hear the full range and you want to, you know, you want to be able to feel the lows and highs and blah, blah, blah. You know, I, I get that, I really do. But see, when I'm streaming, sometimes I just kind of want a fairly decent level of um of volume i don't want to have to, to worry so much about that sort of thing and um, so what you can actually do is comp your uh your spotify i wouldn't ever comp it like to 10 because it would just be really hissy at the quiet points of music and it would probably be quite muddy the the, the um loud moments but see just you know like two three whatever you know it might just be enough that it, it cuts down that scale somewhat so um so yeah that's something that's something we'll have a wee, we mess about with but, um, but yeah, the other the other good thing is the three um, the three virtual outputs that we've got now. So previously, I had to double up um, my voice for going to Discord parties and Xbox parties at the same time, because otherwise, like I'd basically have one output that's going to the stream. So you can see if I move, la 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 la, la these two volume bars. Um, the first one is going to the stream, that's everything that you guys hear. The second one was going to the Discord parties. So, you know, if I if I wanted to speak, if I wanted to say something to my Xbox buddies and to my Discord party buddies at different times, I couldn't I couldn't ever separate that audio. It was a total pain in the ass. So um I, if I if I set them on the same output as you guys had for the stream, they would hear all the music and everything like that. And if I uh, if I didn't separate them I, I wouldn't be able to speak to half the vocal that were in my parties. Um, so yeah, so that's quite good that you can separate those two things out. I still probably won't, because chances are if I've got an Xbox party on the go and 
um, a Discord party on the go, I'll, I'll probably want to keep them just hearing me at the same time. However, there is situations when sometimes you want your Discord party and your Xbox party to speak to each other. Like if one party, if one person within the parties doesn't have the opposite application, um, or they have issues connecting, instead of relaying messages back and forth to people, you should be able to send, like, so my Discord input comes here, my Xbox chat comes in there as well, but I'm going to separate them out so that that's not the case. But, um, but yeah, essentially you could have the people that are speaking in Discord on this slider here, outputting all the way over to this slider over here. And this could be the one that you send to the Xbox party. So you wouldn't send your voice twice to that, or you could. I mean, you, you could you could send your voice and Discord's party voice to this one and have that going to the, the Xbox party. And you could send your Xbox party and your voice going to this one, to the Discord party. Because you don't hear yourself look back on the, the Discord party. Um, so yeah, I mean, that's just the way that we can... You can handle it so you could have your Discord party and your, your Xbox party come into the same I'm going to the, the same the same people. Um, it would obviously create slight delays and things, you know, but just it, it, it's another way to bridge that gap, um, which in my mind is, is you know, again, very welcome. Um, it just allows you to, to create that loop. You just need to watch that you don't totally fuck it up. But, um, but yeah, so anyway, that's that. Um, once I've got more information about this, once I've got more, like once I know what all of this is and how we can affect it and what, what um, issues it's going to bring and whatnot. Because um, this external FX return, I, I'm, I'm not sure about that. Let's see if it will actually, let's just have a wee play because, well, you know, why Why not? Let's say here back here. So we will, I'll turn up my FX return. There, 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 there. Hi. Okay. Um, I'll let you hear what I'm doing as well. There we go. So we're fairly echoey. Let's turn the, um, can we turn this up here? Hey, uh, let's see. Max, we can't. Eh? Okay, okay, okay. We, we, we don't have the, the volumes for that. That's fine. Right, anyway. Anyway, that's by the by. Okay, so, um, yeah, I'll leave it there for that. Um, and we will sort all, uh, we'll sort that out as soon as we, we know what's happening. Once this comes out of beta phase or once the, um, various portions are like resolved. Um, yeah, we'll get a YouTube video on the go to, to explain it a bit more. But just I was too excited to not show that tonight. You know, you know how it was. I'm, I'm I totally geeked out when I saw it. So um, so yeah, that's that.